How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bee Swarm Simulator. My name is McProsive and as you can see by the screenshot here, I was number one honey maker of all time for about five minutes. This morning some weird issue happened and a couple people were dropped from the leaderboard. I'll, I'll let you guys figure out who those people were and why that may have happened. Now everybody has since returned to the top ten. However, I find it very suspicious and odd that a few people were dropped from the top 10 and now they're back. So I don't know what that's about. I'll let you guys let me know your conclusions in the comments below. Also, let me know if you figured out who it was that was missing. But we are 1.2 trillion behind. Congrats to coming in on getting to 50T. Hopefully we get a code out of that. I am 31T ahead of him today, or 31B, I guess. I want to make that a solid 50 by the end of the day, so I do need to donate an egg. I think I'm going to go ahead and donate a gold. Let's see. Hopefully we get lucky with pepper or rose. I probably need some more gumdrops, but I'm just going to hold off because I've been trying to save my tickets, and they are expensive. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, wow. My crab is back. Okay. Glad I looked. Let's go ahead and get our stinger ready. Go ahead and do an oil and coconut. Alright, let's do it. I wonder if I can do my emergency thing. Yep, looks like it. Cool. So as soon as he stops here, I'll show you guys an interesting trick I've been doing. Probably should have used a stinger as soon as I started. It's amazing when you don't play all aspects of the game, how rusty you get so fast. Should die rather quickly. I think I should be a pretty good contender for a world record once I get my Vicious Bee and Brave Bee back. So as soon as the update comes, I'm going to do my world record attempts on this and Stick Bug, and then probably transition to all Tadpole Hive. We'll see how that goes for a while. I'm really hoping that Spicy Bee doesn't completely die though. That'd be really nice. Alright, lots of free loot. This is gonna go really nice for the the grind we're about to do. I was pretty low on micro converters and coconuts actually. So this is perfect timing. Of course the bitter berries are always welcome as well. How's it going Jason? Looks good. I do want to check one thing before we move forward here, just to make sure that everything is recording properly. Let's double check. All right, good. We are all set. Let's head on in here and grab the re remaining coconuts. Alright, we got 132. I'll go ahead and put my gumdrops back over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and donate this gold egg and hope for the best. If we get pepper or rose, I should get a whole bunch. I got strawberry this morning. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Let's go ahead and get everything ready. Alright. Ooh, pepper, very nice, very nice. Okay, red, blue. Ooh, for a second I thought I didn't get it. I thought it disappeared. Okay, I think we're ready. Get these out. It would be nice if another player was here, but I have noticed a significant change if I don't play with other players. Let me put coconuts as number one. Alright, I think we're all set now. Let's get it on. So we're at 117, I'd say 118 million. 1 trillion, 118 million. Not bad. 
see what we can get. Uh, I should probably do a glitter, now that I think about it. Glitter time. Wouldn't hurt to do the dice as well. Pineapple patch twice, nice. Got some gifts. Hopefully I can break 100 mil per second. I don't know if that's possible with times one pepper, but we'll see. I was getting over 155, 160 mil per second earlier with I think a rose times two. It would also have helped if I had my jelly beans active there. Alright, let's do it. Let's go ahead and enable shift lock, do a jelly bean. If I get a yellow jelly bean, it's gonna help tremendously. No such luck. Let's do a coconut. I get a whole bunch from coconuts. Need to start using some of these micro converters now. It's already two, two billion down. It's really important to catch all these coconuts that fall. And if I use them as soon as, soon as they're possible to be used, super helpful. If you have them on auto, it just doesn't work properly. more jelly beans usually I fill up way too fast for the jelly beans to really be beneficial to me all I really care about is getting that yellow one for some more instant convert wow I filled up instantly there there's the coconuts perfect I'd say I need to do more live streams. It's definitely not as lively as it usually is, given it's the middle of the work week. Probably do some more live streams this weekend, just to get back into things. I'm gonna have to uh, exclusively be doing grinding though. My stick bug days are kinda, I wouldn't say long gone, but I wanna get number one Honeymaker before I start grinding again on stick bug. I wish you could craft microconverters. If I had an infinite amount of those, I'd make so much money. I should be able to level another 18B in probably two days, maybe three. It takes nine days to level 1B now. It's a long wait. Uh, next, I think I am going to go with Windy B. Shout outs to Alex Straza on that idea. The last B I leveled was a Spicy B, so I think I have two or three level 18 Spicies now. But he was pointing out how Windy would be pretty beneficial, so might do that next. Ooh, alright. Aphid, nice. Glad I didn't die. I really like having a lot of token link like this. It takes a lot of the work out of it. I did 
gonna go ahead and roll, I think, eight different spicy bees to have better mutations the other day. So all my bees have either conversion amount or gather amount. I did get really lucky with a range bee. It now has 3% in bee ability rate. That's pretty good. Thought about dropping him, but I think I'm gonna keep him. It's a red bee, it's exclusively a token link, and it drops pretty frequently. I'm really excited to see if uh, B slot 51 would ever be a thing. I don't know what BR would get. Probably a hasty B. I've been doing without hasty B for a while now. Just didn't find a need for the extra speed. It was useful while doing stick bug, but I don't do that anymore. Right, I think we've made about 8 billion. Not terrible, but it could be a lot better. More gifts definitely makes a big difference. I got gifts the other day. I think I got 8 billion from one gifts. One triggering of the gifts, 8 billion. laggy when you play on a server by yourself. If people type or just their bees in general, sometimes you can notice they, they lag you out as soon as they get near you. Really slows down your production. Looks like I've gone through 200 gumdrops already. I don't know if I'm gonna keep buying those. I don't feel like they do a whole lot because my gummy boots already help me make a ton of honey from the goo as it is. I don't know if putting an extra goo on top of the goo helps. that honey go up so fast man that's crazy you'll notice it, it kind of freezes right here where I'm full but if I get a coconut and then stand still I'm at 978 mil like before I even fill up I make an easy extra 100 million every time I get a coconut every time see a huge noticeable difference by if I'm not using gumdrops since my gameplay really focuses on filling up my bag and then dumping the bag it doesn't feel like the gum or the goo really matters I'm still pulling a solid 20 mil per second without it all right so watch this I might need 110 million 12 ish now as soon as I dump all my spicy bees are gonna want to dump the bag so I just be patient wait for them there we go get some fire going dump 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 and watch that honey just skyrocket you see my my crit and everything is already times 10 so every time I get gifts and stuff everything is maxed and I just make boatloads like 30 mil right now per second not too bad I've also thought about going back to Carpenter Hive whenever the update comes. Because the spicy bee dies, which I, I keep hearing that it's going to, but we don't know for sure. Carpenter Bee will still be pretty good. 
That must be messes with conversion altogether as a whole. And that would suck. I kind of feel like as you play longer, one of the, one of the perks of being a, a, a long time player is you have less trips to the hive. Bigger bag only helps with that so much. Like, even if your bag is like 500 million, you're still gonna make a lot of trips during the day for that honey. Alright, let's go ahead and get our buffs back on. I also heard yesterday that he made it to where the Windy Bee now spawns every hour on the 25. So that should mean there should be a Windy Bee up right now. We might go look here in just a second. You guys gotta let me know if these farming videos are boring. I imagine they are, but that's just because I see these numbers pulled every day. I don't know if it's fun for you to see really big numbers like this or not. So you guys gotta let me know in the comments. Should I farm live more? I'm sure I could farm with a few of you guys if you guys want to strictly do farming. I just gotta play with players that aren't gonna talk. Because if you talk one time, somehow the server just knows that there's talking and just starts clamming up and just freezing, super lag. Not talking is key. For example, I do have a couple secret servers that I usually grind with people. Almost all of the top 10 all time is on there with me. And uh, that's actually one of the reasons I'm not there right now is because I'm live streaming. And uh, it's just so I don't bring any lag to their character. Just for farming. Alright, be real still after the coconut and get the fire. Repeat. 317 million. Be real still. Wait for fire. Bam. There's a whole bunch of honey. Whole bunch, honey. It's worth the like five seconds of pausing. All right, looks like Pepper's about to run off. At least the winds. I'm about to go see if I can get a times two for Rose. If not, I might call it. If I grinded all day, I, I would make a, a huge dent in catching up, but it's just so tedious. Very tedious. sure how much we made. It was around 13 billion, I believe. Let's go see if we can get Rose. Get an estimate on how much we've made. Alright. So 
So that is about 16. Nice, it just updated. I'm almost at 200 bill. Let's go ahead and polish that off. I need 3 billion. Man, it's going to be nice to get 50 trillion. I wonder if he's going to take a break. I really hope so. 50 trillion is quite an accomplishment. Let's go ahead and dump real fast. I did go ahead and change my character's avatar. I went ahead and got it to where I can actually walk again instead of hover. So I felt like hovering was actually making it a problem. It felt like there was maybe extra lag because of the levitation. Let's hope for Rose. Mushroom. That is unfortunate. Let's see how we do in Mushroom. Pretty sure it's awful, but let's see. I'm glad there's a, a ladybug here, though. That does help a lot. I think I got actually some more stuff from King Beetle. Yeah, I got 98% from Mushroom. So let's see if Mushroom does decent here. I do want to see closer to 10, 10 million per second, though, if, if it's going to be worth it. That's how we tell. Right now it's around 3.6, 3.7. It does need a second to climb. I gotta build a crit and stuff. Oh, well, yeah, we're well over 10. Nice, we're actually filling up. On my next fill up, I'm gonna use a ticket real quick. Alright, we have 134, I'd say. I need to get to 137 billion before I stop. Hey, I finished a quest. Nice. Riley B. I've kinda given up on questing. As you can see on the top, I have 1926 for Polar Bear. I kind of wanted to grind to 2000, but meh. I feel like I have enough energy for my bees. The next accomplishment will be the uh, badge for Battle Points. I believe that's the only one I have left. And it is a beast. I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. I'm only like 70% done. Let's see. Yeah, not even. About 60% done. It's a rough one. So Gumbadin will have that, that lead on me for quite a while. I think he has 50% more crit. Oh, there we go. Gifts. Nice. Alright, we got 420 for the million slot. How much can we get? As you can see, the mushroom is so much worse than Pepperfield. And I still got almost 200 million for gifts. But as you can watch the million slot, it's just constantly going up. Like every, every second I make 2 million, something like that. 2 to 3. Sometimes I don't think the numbers there really match up properly. So right now it says I'm making 4 million per second, but the million slot is like not even moving. I know it's uh, a couple seconds behind, but it, it seems sometimes it's just off. This is super slow. In Pepperfield, you randomly get chunks of honey that boost you by like 20 and 30 million. But in this, you just go up 1 million at a time. Given it's somewhat fast, just seems less worth it. So now it says 7 mil per second, but, yeah, okay, it's starting to look okay now. Sometimes it's doubtful, though. I'm 
curious to see if the leaderboard messes up like that from now on every day. It was around 2 in the morning my time. Whatever central time is. 2 in the morning. And... It was a shock. I didn't know what was happening. But the fact that they disappeared and then came back just makes me wonder why that is. Could be nothing, but I've never seen it. Never once. I think I heard a vicious bee. Must be nighttime almost. Alright, this honey is super slow. I'm hoping I already hit 200 bee. Yeah, there we go. 200 billion. Not too bad. Got the lead. I might grind another 50 billion here in a minute. Whenever I get bored again. I'll see you guys later. But uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. A couple people fell off. They were gone for about five minutes. And then they returned. Let me know what you think. Why, why could that happen? And why have we never seen that happen before? Kind of weird stuff. Weird stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck.